but the thing that comes with artists, man, is do you are you comfortable with thinking on a longer time span and saying, hey, I'm a pop in this specific space that I don't necessarily want to do for my career. Maybe I want to incorporate some rock neo soul elements. That was something that she was talking about into my stuff and figure out how to fuse them cleanly. But right now, this is some straight Alicia Keys shit, Mm -hmm. right? I'm in that spot and coming up down that path. And I'm just going to go as big as I can down that path. And then, hey, man, I'm rich. I'm winning. I got a fan base. You know, Things are going good. And then I'm going to try to hit them with this fusion and figure myself out and see if I could take them there. That's not a bad look. That's actually yeah. oftentimes the best way to do it. Like the, mo- the highest probability of taking something unique and introducing it to the marketplace, especially music, is that route, right? Yeah, that's what all the uh, SoundCloud rappers did. <laughs> All, all of them. All of the biggest ones, bro. That's what they did. They capped in that space, and then as soon as they got the base, they all flipped the different shit. Exactly. Yeah. But many artists aren't comfortable with that idea. Yeah. Right? It makes it maybe feel like more of a job or creatively restricting, which oftentimes a job might do for them if it's not just whatever I want and wherever whatever I'm feeling and the inspiration that comes from it. Right? That, but that is the job. Of the industry, you are an entertainer, yeah. right? And it is a job itself. So I get that, that you might want to delay everything based on the development of yourself and a sound and it being perfect. So and I, so I could 100% get that route. But on the side of understanding how difficult it is to get a moment, exactly. a for real moment, exactly. momentum, that shit that you cannot buy. I always tell artists, you cannot buy momentum. Record labels cannot buy momentum. No, that's why they find momentum <laughs> and then try to get ownership of that momentum. Yeah. Because I could put a mill behind something and it could not stick. Yeah. I can't force it. I can, inc- I can increase the likelihood by putting more money into it, more resources. But if it don't go, it don't go. That's the thing about this music shit. So understanding that, how hard that is to do yeah i would probably try to advise personally yeah. let's stick with this thing all right and just cap and get your visibility and look at, at, at worst you made some money and you did you know you got some success you got a cool story you know to know tell I mean? your friends and family you know what yeah. I'm remember that time i was viral yeah. for like five months you know that clip <laughs> when um where ray daniels was like Hey, nigga, if you want to rap, then rap. Yeah. Like, this is business, the music business. But if you want to rap, go on a motherfucking corner, then rap. Like, that whole thing. Yeah. Right? Now, I look at it that way, too. Right? If you want to be in this music business, right, just the business of things, of course, ideally, you have your perfect sound that you want for yourself. And then you can capitalize off of that. That's the artist ideal situation. Exploit who you are to the 100%. But... The other situation is, look, if you really are doing this as an artist, artist, and it's because you want to do do it in that way, maybe you just creating music for yourself and putting it, you know, on the <laughs> on the USB drive, the terror, <laughs> like whatever that is, that should be good, right? Or you can perform for small audiences, or you build this big fan base and it's not gonna hit on a pop scale or your main fan base, but you know, you want to do this intimate show, you can still get that off. Yeah. Right. Matter of yeah. fact, you have more space to get that off because you have a, you know, a better life. Right. <laughs> you have more freedom yeah. in your life. Right. But it comes from you doing this thing. So sometimes my personal issue that comes with artists and this goes from either popping with a sound that's not yours or not the ideal sound like that you want to be at. I, I get like not going like, oh, I'm going to go country, even though I'm a hip hop artist. And, and take, I get that type of like, extremity, but not popping, whether it's popping with an imperfect sound by your um, nature or not becoming a YouTuber or uh, any kind of content creator popping in any kind of way. Mm-hmm. My issue with that is right now your alternative is this job that you hate. What is your other path? I don't understand. Like, well, why don't I at least have some level of freedom? Especially like, you're, oh, you're funny. People love like DC Young Fly is one of those dudes. He can rap and sing his ass off. I was forgetting. He might yeah. Be. A, yeah. yeah. Was like, he was doing boy, that yeah. early yeah. on. But, yeah. oh, this music got popping. I mean, not this music. This, uh, comedy. this comedy got popping. You know, 
And maybe the way things are going, maybe the full breadth of the music isn't meant for him. You know what I mean? Like, God meant this comedy thing for him. Or maybe he brings it back and he does something official. Jamie Foxx was one of those dudes. Yeah. Always wanted yeah. to do, like, the music was his first verse. But acting worked out. Acting worked out the yeah. way it is. And he got it, get it how you live. And I gave him resources and things. He would strategically throw all them parties with Kanye and Jay-Z and Missy, all them stories he tells, like, and bring all those people in around and had a studio in his house and try to get some of them to record with him and get do a little experience. He would strategically do that. And that he could and he could only do that because of his resources that he got mm-hmm. from being an actor, the clout he got from being an actor and comedian, and and then worked himself way uh, back into music yeah. that way. Yeah. Right? And I his Music career still isn't technically anywhere near his acting career or the height of what his comedy is. It's not, but yeah. it's so high. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's what yeah. makes Jamie Fox like one of the like just. I'm like, like a Jamie guy, his bro. Yeah, that's like. that's what makes him a fucking alien because his music <laughs> career is very very high on a general scale. Matter of fact, let's let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Just to know. Let's see what his monthly listeners are. I feel like. That would be interesting. I feel like it's at least 7 million. You think at least 7 million? At least 7. Yeah. He got got some hits. Yeah. That's that's a legit number. Let's see. Spotify. uh, Jamie. Is he popping up? Let me know when he pops up. Oh, there we go. Jamie has uh, 3.9. 3.9. Okay. No. But when's the last time he dropped something? Shit, man, like, what, three years ago? Like, man? seriously. Like, three, four years ago, maybe? And, and we know how little time he's had. He's had, like, that hot, hot moment already. So, yeah, Slow Jam, City Yours, Blame It. Yeah, so, how I many streams does Blame It have? Oh, you know what? This don't count, though, because his shit was before streaming. Streaming, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this really don't even count. To have 3.9... And not really even have a moment and push and drop shit after streaming like that. And that shit coming from probably majority of these three songs. That's that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. So his numbers yeah. are still stupid. Yeah. His numbers are, are are still stupid, but you have to judge it on that scale. This is what pre streaming when you gotta look in terms of looking at it seriously. Um but yeah, okay, I see he dropped something in relation to that movie. I haven't watched that vampire movie yet. Have you have you watched it? <laughs> no, nah, man. My uh it my grandma like, told me it wasn't that great, and I, I, I trust my grandmother's opinion when it comes to movies. It looks like a good bad movie, or like a like you know you put that shit on during the daytime while you like I don't know cooking or <laughs> or just doing something else at the same time. But but yeah, the moments are so hard to come by. You got to cap right yeah. when they come. Yeah, right? like how many how many times yeah. have we we seen that with clients? Where we were like, we wish you would just power through this shit. Yes. I can think of at least like five different instances. Yep. And th- that becomes my thing with it is, like I was saying earlier, all of this is new. So it's going to be a long time before you experience these things and, and really feel comfortable with it. And so it's, I look at it like, do you, are you okay with learning on the fly? Because I think a lot of times artists kind of have this idea in their head where it's like, hey, like I, I need to be perfect. I need to be this way mm-hmm. for me to really take advantage of it. But it's like, one, you don't know if that shit, that shit's perfect to you, but you don't know if it's going to hit the way you, you need to hit. And then yeah. two, bro, just figure this shit out now. And if you right, then you'll be better for the situation you're planning on. And if you're wrong and you fall out the game, then it didn't matter anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you were, you, either yeah. way, it didn't matter. You got a cool story to tell and you, you can kind of keep it pushing. Yeah. And so that becomes my thing with it because whenever we have clients say that to us, that will always be the perspective that comes. Like, oh, like, this is cool. I'm having this moment. Let me get this right before we really cap. And we're like, yeah. when is that going to happen? Oh, it should be about a month. Like a month? Psh, yeah. But you might have five days, to be honest with you. you exactly. Know what I'm <laughs> like you might have five days max. A week from now, Kanye going to say some shit. The media are going <laughs> to turn that way. And just like that, we don't forget about you and don't care anymore. But I, the, the last thing I'll say on that is still it requires discernment. And this is what yeah. 
what why the value of like a great manager and just team around you comes in handy because how do you identify that moment that you can't get that you can't buy versus this is just an opportunity right because all the artists that we know successful and not successful have probably turned something down yeah yeah definitely right but and, and the very very successful have turned many things down so yeah. it's not like you're eating up every single opportunity that comes and say oh i'll never get this opportunity again timing is it really matters and maybe i need to do it not off of this random thing that just popped because of my relationship i need to do it because i'm about to come out with a project and bring attention to it right so i'm not going to do this radio interview this week i'm gonna do it six months from now when i actually have something to talk about like little things like that they matter and figuring and being able to discern is this a moment moment or is this yeah, like I said, I guess an opportunity. That's the the, the best way. But yeah, um, yeah. I said one. I'm sorry, real quick. One of the uh, coldest quotes I heard on something like that was like, one of the hardest things about growing as a business is saying no to things that you know could be a good look. Oh hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah. damn, this shit could, this shit here, but this is moving like this for me. I got, I got to let it go, bro. That's where people mess up, right? Because it's like it's that effort di- distribution and understanding. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I could go over here and make this quick hundred k faster than i've made 100k before or i can take that same effort and it might take two times as long and make a meal Mm -hmm. right an additional meal just in that same space Mm -hmm. but most people don't have the discipline and long-term thinking to be able to get themselves from like hustle 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 oh there's a op oh there's a op oh there's a op but a lot of that comes in from lack of faith yeah in themselves like it's like a faith or lack of lack of discipline Lack of or understanding how much work that understanding shit really that yeah. it actually takes to hit that level, mm-hmm. right? And now that energy you just put over there just extended the time span for this main space that you just left to make that money. Yeah, back. but and you keep on going back over there because you're like, oh, I didn't do it yet. Oh, I didn't do it yet. And now you might need to just completely miss that window to ever hit that next level in that first thing you just left because it's taking too long or you beating yourself into like lack of stamina so yeah that it's again this is why it 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 is so advantageous to have great advisors and like people around you because how do you know that and recognize that when there's not the person around that can tell you that yeah, and it's your right. first time going through and, it. And it's your first time going yeah. through it. You don't click. You you can't sniff with that. You know, it's, it's, this is part of why we had some problems with like college students working for us. Remember, I was just like, oh, yeah. "Hey, bro, these people don't live too much life, and right now it's. Co- I mean, they haven't lived enough. It's coming easy, and they and when we're in that moment, like they don't understand, nigga. You can't just make these moments. Yeah, like I need you to work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you up there. Oh, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stomp the yard, and then I'm gonna like do this, and I'm gonna go on my dates, and all that, that, that. You don't understand? No, this is double down time because once we get to that next level, we're on that next level, and then sometimes it's five levels, ten levels that you can go up in that moment. And once you're there, you're there. Yeah. So you put in that work, you might shit not go to sleep for a couple of weeks or whatever, you know. But then once you're there, you're there. It's not gonna wait on you. Yeah. You know. So that's again, that's part of you put that. Even if it's a business opportunity, you turn this shit down because of what's in front of you and the opportunity you have. Then some people don't have an opportunity that is worth doing that for, though. And that I understand. That's a yeah. whole not, a whole other game. But um, like and subscribe, people. Like and subscribe, please do it. Uh, and 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 put anything in the comments if y'all if something y'all like what we said. If it's something you disagree with, then go ahead and put there put it there, and I can see if I disagree with it with what you're saying. <laughs> you know your disagreement. But yeah, for real, like, uh, comment, and if you're new to this, subscribe. We really appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then you should watch the full episode of No Labels Necessary that it came from, and it's going to really blow your mind. Check this clip right here.